G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today on the bench, as you can see, I've got a RC conversion kit here. Now these are 114 scale conversion kits to convert your 114 scale buggies, like your 144011, 144010, the Ishin EAT14, or even the first uh, generation of the Alalo buggies that they brought out uh, a couple of years ago. So. Yeah, this came in from uh, AliExpress, the crazy fast RC store. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Now obviously you're gonna get everything you need to convert your 114 scale buggy into a pickup truck. I have the yellow shell here, as you can see. It's already uh, decaled up, so it's got all the stickers on it. You can also get this in the blue color as well as a red. So all you have to do is just choose your selection of color uh, when purchasing this kit. We also have a full set of four off-road tires here. As you can see, they're rather wide, especially compared to you know what you get on the 114 scale buggies. Uh, they're plastic rim with a 12 millimeter hex, of course, so they bolt straight on. And a pretty wide profile tire here with an aggressive off-road pattern. I think these are gonna be pretty grippy. Unfortunately, however, they are not foam filled. I would have liked to have seen them uh, with some foam in them, but they are pre-glued, okay? So you don't have to glue them like those uh, wheels and tires that I just recently made a video on uh, for the 12427. But uh, yeah, uh, just air filled, there's no foam in them. And in this accessory bag, we've got all the rest of the parts that we need to convert a RC buggy into a pickup truck. I'll take all these out and lay them on the bench and I'll show you exactly what we get in this bag. Okay guys, I've got everything out of the bag and laid out on the bench here. So first off, we've got the front bumper here. Okay, it's got some LED lights in there as you can see, as well as a wiring loom. We've got the second floor chassis brace here, which looks a little bit similar to what's on the buggy already, but looks like they've got the plate for the ESC in the forward position rather than in the middle. We've also got this little bracing here, which I think is either gonna fit on the front or the back, just there. All right, as a support or extra support. We have this wing here, which is very similar to the CF1401 buggy that I featured on the channel. Also with this kit, we get a bag of hardware here. So as you can see, there's quite a few screws included, okay, in this bag. We have a alloy shock tower here, which to me looks exactly like what's already on the buggy already. So I don't think I'll even need to use that, but we get that as well. We also got the four body clips and these ones are all tethered. Okay, so you've got a hole here. The smaller hole will be for this uh, tether. You plug that in and then the body post will go through there. So got a set of four of those. And of course, we're gonna have to uh, put some different body mounts front and rear. These are two identical mounts. So we can put that pickup truck body on there. And that's basically it guys. You know, we've got the four wheels, the body shell, of course, and they're all the parts that we get with this conversion kit. Okay, guys, so what I'm actually going to convert is my Esheen EAT14 buggy here. This is basically a WL Toys 144010 brushless buggy. That's one of the reasons that I'm going to use this one because... Yeah, it's pretty much the same as a WL Toys car. In fact, WL Toys did delay the release of the 144001 because they were busy making this model, the Esheen model for Banggood, because Esheen is a Banggood house brand, basically. So uh, if you didn't know that, there's a little trivia for you. It's all brushless already, guys. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a really good uh, one to convert. So what we're gonna have to do first is uh, take off this body shell for a start and we're going to have to take all the screws out we've got one two three four five six seven eight all right we're going to take, have to take off this uh chassis brace here okay which holds the esc the receiver okay and i'm going to have to probably remove because the wires of the motor are tucked in underneath this heat sink i'm pretty sure this heat sink is glued on with some thermal paste now i don't really want to take it off so probably take this side skirt off it's just a couple of screws there just so i can access the wires and unplug them properly and uh yeah that'll be the first step then we're just going to have to um put the other wing on okay the front bumper convert the wheels over and slap the body shell on so i'm going to make a start let's get stuck into it
Okay, this one here on top of the servo saver seems to be pretty stubborn. I don't want to strip it out. So I'm gonna to have to heat that one up. I'm gonna skip that for now and I'll do that one off camera. So I'm just gonna take these other four off. This one here that's actually on the mount is being stubborn too. So I think they glued this one as well. Okay guys, so I managed to get that screw out of the servo saver there, on top of the servo saver rather, uh, with a bit of heat from my soldering iron. Okay, got that stubborn screw out that was glued in there. And that allowed me to, to get the top brace off. Okay, I just uh, peeled off the ESC and the receiver there. So here it is here, here's the original one, and here is the aftermarket one. As you can see, they are a bit different guys. Okay, they're the same length, all right, same motor cover or spur gear cover. I uh, just test fitted one of the mounts, so that's how one of the mounts will go. But as you can see, the plate for the ESC, the original one's pretty much in the middle, and we've got this one towards the front. All right, so all your electronics, your ESC receiver can fit at the front, and that's because the shell has all that room in the cabin area here on the front there, so you're going to have all your electronics just there. All right. So so I'm going to go ahead and install this one, alright, put the ESC and the receiver back on. So yeah, I'll get into doing that guys, I'll come back and uh, then we'll put the bumpers on, the wheels on, and, I'll, and the wing on, and uh, I'll finish it off. Okay, just one other thing too that I noticed is that we are actually going to have to use this shock mount, because as you can see, the wing bolts up to it and um i thought they were the same but they're actually slightly different this new one dips down a bit compared to that one and there's extra screw holes there for the wing so if i want to fit this wing i mean even though it does slip over the top of the original shock mount the holes don't line up okay so i'm going to have to put the new one in so anyway i'm going to do that off camera guys i'm going to fit this one now um, it's just a matter of taking a couple of turnbuckles off, take the shocks off, all right, and move them out of the way, and a couple of uh, screws on the back there, and then I'll mount the new one on, all right, and put the wing on, and then we can put the chassis brace on there as well. Okay, uh, another thing I noticed is that on the front here, it's got a third post here, okay, but we, it's not needed. I'm gonna have to actually uh, cut this center one off. I don't know why they did that, because on the back there's two. There's just two, I've already mounted that one. Those two holes there. And you can't actually, <laughs> you can't actually fit this post on, because there's no third hole in the center. It's only on the side. So they've got this little post in the middle that doesn't allow that one to fit. So I'm going to actually have to, I'm not going to Dremel it because I end up cutting the other two, but I'm going to have to remove that so this body post can go on. So yeah, I don't know why they actually molded it with a, th a third one. Maybe it's for a different kit. Okay, so yeah, to sort of let you know about that as well. Okay guys, so we're nearly done. As you can see, I've finished up putting the, uh, the rear wing on, okay, with a new shock mount replaced it with the stock one here because I found out that we couldn't use this one. So done that. I've placed the uh, center chassis brace on there now. I've got the front body post on there. I just had to take that little center divider off because uh, it's not needed for this uh, truck build. Um, that little center divider, it's basically for the body post for the buggy version of this kit, which I've actually got here in the shed i bought it a while back so um that'll be for another video uh yeah so i've got the esc in the middle i've got the capacitor for the stock esc just uh double-sided tape to the front put fresh tape of course on all of these even the receiver we've got it on the back here so all that's left to do now really is just swap the wheels over all right and put this front bumper on and this brace is to go on the front here just like that to support the front bumper. Now the front bumper has this wiring loom with a small white plug. I think this is just uh, designed to fit 
the all-in-one ESCs of the brushed models of the WL toys because uh, this setup doesn't even have the plug-in uh, as you can see the ESC fan the plug is actually thicker for the ESC fan so I can't even plug the lights in there and the ESC is an independent one so we can't just quickly plug this in there so I'm not going to worry about the lights because this is a brushless setup but that's what I think it's for it's for those little plug-ins that you can see on most of those uh, ready to run you know brushed model ESC receiver combo so let's put the bumper on we'll remove this little one here for the buggy and put the monster truck bumper and this just a matter of uh, putting the body shell on and the and the wheels and we're done all right guys there we have it it's all done looking pretty good converted the e-sheen eat 14 into a monster truck all right so anyway i've got the battery charged let's take it out for a spin Okay guys, I'm going to end it there because um, <laughs> it looks like I was nearly about to lose a wheel. The wheel nut on this side started to come loose. So I just checked in my backpack to see if I got my spare uh, tire wrenches and extra parts with me. I usually have them in my backpack, but I must have taken them out for some reason. They're probably on the workbench at home. So anyway guys, that will give you a rough idea on uh, this conversion kit i reckon it looks awesome being a truck now a pickup truck uh converted from the e-sheen eat 14 and you know it's brushless so uh, it's got plenty of power i was just running on a 2s battery the 2800 milliamp hour that came with the e-sheen buggy and uh yeah, it was popping wheelies and yeah it's got a lot of top end speed on 3s you definitely need a wheelie bar on this something that i might do a bit later on but uh yeah guys great little kit uh straightforward to fit on it doesn't cost that much um, i'll leave links in the description below guys to crazy fast rc 
who I thank for sending this uh, kit out. I really do like it. Like I said, you can get different colors. You can get a blue one and a red one. I decided to go with this uh, bright yellow. I think it looks awesome. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, by all means, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be informed every time I drop a new video. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, enjoy the hobby. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.